it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about the crystalline solid state. Three general cubic crystal classes are the primitive cubic, sometimes called the simple cubic, where all the atoms are on the corners or vertices of the unit cell. The body-centered cubic, with a full atom in the center and one on each corner of the unit cell. And the face-centered cubic, with atoms on each face and corner of the unit cell. Internal lattice coordinates can be defined in terms of fractions of the total unit cell. If we define this point as the origin, it is coordinates of x equals 0, y equals 0, and z equals 0. The opposite corner has coordinates of x equals 1, y equals 1, and z equals 1. The central point has lattice coordinates of x is equal to a half, y is equal to a half, and z is equal to a half. With the space fill model, you will notice that all the spheres, particles, are in contact with each other. And as we rotate it, there are atoms on each of the unit cell corners. If we take this single unit cell and extend it in each direction, the repeating pattern is identical, as the unit cell is repeated indefinitely over the lattice. To determine the shape of a primitive cubic cell, we first need to observe that in the simple cubic cell, the edge is equal to two atomic radii. The volume of the unit cell is then the edge cubed, but the unit cell only contains on the lattice points an eighth of the volume of the sphere, ion or atoms. Because of this, there is a total of eight eighth volume spheres inside the unit cell, and the simple cubic unit contains one net particle. One important question should be asked. What is the efficiency of packing of same size molecules in simple cubic unit cells? Packing efficiency is just the volume of the particles in the cell divided by the total volume of the unit cell. In the case of the primitive cubic, we only have one particle in the unit cell, so the volume of the particles is multiplied by one. This gives us a packing efficiency of 52.3%. Will the efficiency change if the particles have different sizes? What do you think? This is an image of a rock containing three crystals of pyrite. The crystal structure of pyrite is a primitive cubic, and here we can see this reflected in the cubic symmetry of the natural crystal facets. The second general class of cubic crystal is the body-centered cubic, BCC. The BCC structure is typified by the unit cell of iron. The BCC unit cell contains an ion or atom in the center of the cell. If all the spheres have the same radius, then the spheres centered on the lattice points do not make contact with each other. Another way of looking at the layout is using a two-dimensional layer diagram. The BCC crystal lattice has three layers along the z-axis. The first layer at z is equal to zero has a particle at each corner of the unit cell. The second layer has one central particle at z is equal to a half, and the third layer has at z equals one the same structure as the first. From these two layers, we can see that the unit cell edge is not twice the atomic radius. So in this case, the edge is greater than two atomic radii of the lattice corners. To determine the edge length a, we first must determine some unit cell lengths. The direction from a corner of a cube to the farthest corner is called the body diagonal, B. The face diagonal is a line drawn from one vertex to the opposite corner of the same face. Atoms along the body diagonal, B, touch each other. Thus, the body diagonal has a length that is four times the radius of the atom, R. We can then use Pythagorean theorem to determine the relationship between R and A. This can then be used to determine the packing efficiency of BCC, which is 68%, which is higher than that of the primitive cubic. The next class of crystal that we will discuss is the FCC, or face-centered cubic structure, sometimes called cubic closed pack. FCC crystals include aluminium and calcium, among others. They are typified by having particles in each corner, and on each face. The eight corner particles contribute one particle and the six half particles on the faces 
contribute another three particles for a total of four particles in the unit cell. The face-centered cubic lattice is also closely related to the cubic close-packed lattice. They have the same number of atoms per unit cell and the same packing efficiency, but they have different atomic arrangements. Another way of looking at the layout is using two-dimensional layer diagrams. The FCC has three layers along the z-axis. The first layer at z is equal to zero has a particle at each corner of the unit cell and one in the center. The second layer has four particles at the midpoint of each edge. And the third layer is the same as the first. And again, we are shown that the edge length is not equal to twice the particle radius. Calculation of the edge value is more straightforward for FCC than BCC. We can use Pythagorean theorem as we know that the face length is equal to 4R. For particles of equal diameter, FCC has a 74% packing efficiency, the highest of the three cubic classes we've discussed. The crystal structures of metallic elements can vary considerably. Many have a BCC or FCC structure, whilst many others take a hexagonal close-packed structure. Polonium has a simple cubic structure. You will notice that many elements with the same crystal structure are grouped together, and only in the p-block of semi-metals do we have significant neighbor variation. Let's check comprehension. 